Okay, if you've been following along, this looks a little bit different. I've disappeared some elements using display none in CSS. I've uh, changed some fonts and loaded in some fonts from uh, Google Font API and kind of spaced things out a little differently. But there's nothing there I haven't done that isn't very easily done in CSS. Um, here's the CSS file at this point, um, which is getting getting rid of some borders in the menu and some odds and ends. Now what I want to do is insert um, the slider, which is going to go right in here on the home page. And there are three ways you can do this when you're doing themes. If you're creating a theme that's a regular theme and not a child theme, you can just go to the um, go to the theme file for the appropriate theme file, which is probably for the index page, and and go ahead and find where in the HTML you want to insert it. When you're doing a child theme, you can actually do that as well by copying down the, the theme from the parent theme to the child theme directory and editing that theme file, but that's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is use something using something called a hook, an action hook. And what the, the reason this is better is because you can upgrade the parent theme and not break the child theme. The child theme should still work um, when the parent theme gets upgraded as long as the same hooks exist. So um, there are a bunch of hooks on the page that we can use to kind of hook content in. This is a nice visualization that shows you the page with this red showing you where each of them are. We're going to be putting something right in here in the thematic below header hook. So to do that, we need to do it in the... Um, in the theme functions, functions.php file. Um, now this is a PHP file, uh, so we're gonna start with PHP and end with the close PHP. Um, and um, actually we don't need to end with the close PHP, um, but I'm going to for now. Um, and I'm also, I'll note, editing this in WordPress. If I make any mistakes in here when I save it, it will actually break WordPress and I'll just get an error. And I won't be able to get back to this screen. So there are advantages to doing this at home on in a text editor and then uploading the functions PHP file. Uh, but if this ever breaks, just be prepared to go in and erase the functions PHP uh, file via FTP and then your, your, um, your page will come back to you. So just be aware that you're basically editing the code that the, the system works on. So if you make an error, it will break. You just need to pull those broken pieces out and it will work again. So I'm gonna start by creating a new function because this is the functions file. I'm gonna call it insert um, insert slider. I can call it anything because this is my own um, function that I'm making and there's the open bracket and close bracket. So I haven't done anything in that function yet. I've just kind of put in an empty function. And then after I have defined that function, I can add an action. This is hooking it into the theme and I have to tell it where I want it to go, which is thematic below header. This is a, one of a couple dozen um, hooks that Thematic gives to you. Other, um, other theme frameworks give you different hooks, but this happens to be a hook that we have. And then the name of the function we're going to put in there, which is insert slider. So what this does is hooks in whatever we put in this function, hooks it into our theme. So now we need to have something in here. I'm going to be lazy and actually turn off PHP for a moment and do HTML. And then I'll start the PHP back up down here. So inside here in the HTML bit, I'm just going to go div uh, id is slider and we'll have something here so that it knows that we are, so we can actually see it doing something. Good morning, Hamden. Oops. Uh, H1. And then we'll close the div. So this basically is saying all this function done this does is generate this snippet of HTML. That's all our function does. And then we want to insert that snippet. Um, we want to hook it in at the thematic below header. So if I've typed everything correctly, this won't die. Yay, it didn't. And if I refresh it over here, we will get Good Morning Hamden dropped in right below. So now we need to actually put the slider, the guts of the slider in there. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit of code that makes it only show on the front page. 